What's going on everybody? Welcome to Ask G Maya and today we're gonna to be answering the question of AG Maya, can you talk about your thoughts on the Cavs comeback? Or who, or who you think the regular season MVP is? Now, obviously, that was Game Three um, with the, Le you know, the Cavaliers and LeBron James taking care of the Pacers. They were down like what, like 28, one of the biggest comebacks ever in uh, NBA history. Pretty much what I have to say about that is this: LeBron James is is a great player. Um, in my opinion, if he gets one more ring, I think you could probably, say, you know, in my, just I'm just going based off of. Michael Jordan's play history and LeBron James' play history, when they came into the league, the way they lost their games. Um, overall, I don't think we will ever see anything like LeBron James play basketball again. When I I just think he's his own entity. 6'9", 250, 260, the speed, the movement, this guy is unbelievable. And there was a lot on this guy's plate. Just coming, you gotta remember, Michael Jordan was cut from his like junior high school team or something like that that helped motivate him or whatever like that lebron james has been like he, he had attention on him since he's a very young child and he had the stardom already implanted in him even before he got to the nba so in my opinion there was a lot more pressure for lebron and going to a team like the cavaliers where everybody on the team they they they, they just weren't good players the dude played on the team with like eric snow like bruh the dude's team was trash you know eric snow played with uh iverson yeah, yeah, I, I just always think about Eric Snow because he was such a bum, but that's neither here nor there. The bottom line is the Cavaliers, when LeBron first came into the league, was straight trash. He was 100% the team. And, um, you know, just thinking about that, the way that, the, the way that his whole career has progressed, you got to give this man credit just looking at it. But as far as the comeback, they never stood a chance. You know, let's just be honest about it, man. The, the Pacers are now eliminated. They were supposed to win game one based on the way that they played. Uh, Paul George with all the um, you know the blame game and everything like that. I just think mentally, LeBron James has an edge on a lot of these players. It's just that the West is so dangerous because either just put it like this: I, the Spurs are looking kind of crazy. I, I don't know what's going on with that, with the whole Popovich thing, whatever like that. But the Golden State Warriors are back and better than ever. And I just think that the firepower with that team is going to be very. I, I, I truly believe that the Cavaliers are going to the finals again. LeBron James will go to seven straight finals. I do believe that that's going to happen. I I would love for him to win this because I think it, if he wins this ring, right, he's in my, in my book, he's better than Jordan because Jordan wasn't beating those stacked teams like that. You, people got to understand, like, I watched Michael Jordan play. I was fortunate... Uh, to watch him play like while he was you know playing you, actively like a lot of you guys are you know younger you're not able you weren't able to see it I was like right on the cusp I was able to see him play Michael Jordan was great LeBron James he lacked some of the traits um, I would say like that killer instinct that Jordan had with like taking over the game and stuff like that in certain situations um, there are times where we think that he's a little bit too uh, like he, he's he's trying to get his teammates involved too much as far as LeBron James go he's a little bit not as selfish. Michael Jordan was more selfish of a player. He wanted to make sure, you know, everybody remembers that Utah Jazz uh, game six, the way that he signed off, you know, hitting that J. That was Michael Jordan. He wanted that moment. LeBron James is more of a kind of, you know, getting his teammates involved and then he'll handle his business. So I think that's kind of a knock against him. But I don't think that this comeback is close to even one of his most major performances, if that answers your question. I think that he's had so many in the past that showed his greatness. Uh, as far as the regular season MVP 2016-2017, it has to be Russell Westbrook in my opinion. Now, I know they just lost and the Houston Rockets are up 3-1, to one, but nobody can ever underestimate what Russell Westbrook brings to the table. This dude is out of control. Um, the way that he plays is high motor. The way the guy just never stops. I just hate the fact that, you know, they came up short. You know, Nene and Harden really stepped up late in that game. Uh, for game four to take the 3-1 lead right now. And um, it's very it was very, very difficult to watch them lose on the OKC floor. Because I you got how can you not root for Russell Wilson? I mean Russell Westbrook. How can you not root for this guy? You know, I watched after the game, you know, the you know the um you know whatever the the, the, the reporters are asking, you know, they ask him when he's on the bench what happens and the way he steps in for his teammates and says, you know what, we're all one team. You, you know he has he has those traits. He's already a superstar. It's just he needs help. You know, Steven Adams and these boys, like, I don't know what they're doing. It, it's very, very tough, man. 
But as far as the regular season goes, this man averaged a triple-double. He averaged that, bro. I don't think people realize how, how hard that is to do. That's a ve Oscar Robinson, bro. Like, the last guy to even, like, even think about doing that kind of thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's so many years ago. How can you not give it to him? I understand that James Harden's team had the better record, but look, he got a win, and he was supposed to win. You know, it was, it was supposed to be tied up 2-2. But the man needs help. He needs help on the, on the court, man. It's just it's just so difficult to watch, man. But Russell Westbrook, I do believe that somehow, some way, this man has he has the potential to win the championship. I don't know how it's gonna happen because the West is gonna be tough. Golden State looks like they're they're geared up to just completely control or always be in the running for at least the next three years, as long as nothing really changes. So that's very difficult for me to say that Russell Westbrook would probably get a ring unless they do an overhaul in OKC after the season's over, but. I can't go with anybody else other than Russell Westbrook. This guy is my MVP. Hopefully this answered your question. Guys and girls, feel free to ask questions. I'll answer it from time to time. Hashtag AskGMeyer. One love.